You probably learned a whole bunch in your rookie year, but as you, as you kind of reflected back on it you know, at the start of this offseason, what did you think about it and maybe how much it's going to help you moving forward? Yeah, I feel like, you know, in retro, obviously it was a, um, a learning experience. And my whole goal going into my rookie year was to be a sponge and absorb as much as I, uh, as much as I could, like multiple positions, the defense, um, you know, checking out the guys on the team who've had success and seeing what they do. And I feel like I accomplished that. Um, yeah. There are a lot of young players on dysfunctional teams that deal with a ton of turnover and new coaches every year. Mm -hmm. You're going to have virtually all the same starters, the same coordinator. How much is that going to help your development, that consistency? Yeah, I think so. I mean, it, it's something to be said. Like going into year two, like, you know the defense. Like, I was watching film of my past, you know, my past games, and I was like, dude, what are you doing? Like, now I know. And there's also something to be said about taking time off and really, like, letting what you learn, like, really, like, taking time off, it's like you absorb it in your unconscious even more. So um, I think it's just with time, everything is better with time. Elijah, what part of, part of your game do you think you need to work on the most, and how have you maybe incorporated that into your offseason at this point? Yeah, um, I'd probably say, like, my press coverage, going from college in the NFL was different. College, you know, I, we played a different technique. I got here, and... Um, um, came here a little beat up, so I wasn't able to work on that before the season. Um, you know, now what I've been doing is just kind of like, right now I'm rehabbing and just watching film, and, and what I'm not doing physically, I'm able to do mentally, um, watching different different nickels in the league. Sorry, how hard was it watching the Bengals play in the Super Bowl? Uh, I mean, it, it, was, it wasn't that tough, you know what I mean? Like, they, you know, they deserve to be there. Um, you know, it stung a couple of days after our game, of course. Um, yeah. More physical game than college. When, when you got a day or two removed, like, how did you feel physically? Did you, was there a point where you thought, wow, I'm, I'm tired? Yeah, I think there's a lot of stuff that, you know, going, I only played four games in college. So going from, from, from four games to, you know, 20 games, include, if you include preseason, like, your body does start to break down, and you just need to kind of like develop a rhythm and and get in routine. and And there's a lot of stuff like, you know, people play with injury. You know, I think it's it's probably more common than you think, and uh, it's just part of the game. So it's like once when you're limited physically, you got to like turn up everything. Um, you know, all the intangibles. Uh, Elijah, you only got to play those four games here last year. Sort of in that late, Caleb Farley hadn't played a whole lot last couple of years, how important is it to him to maybe get a full, you know, as full as he can off season in order yeah. to, to be ready for, for next season? Uh, you'll have to ask him. I'll let him speak on it. But, um, you know, I know him. We, we know each other well, and uh, we spent a lot of time together. Um, you know, since he was out, you know, since he couldn't play last year, then he did what he could, uh, rehabbing and, and watching film and whatnot. Should you benefit from a complete off season? Last year, you're getting ready for pro days, visits. Mm -hmm. You're drafted, you get try to get settled in here now. It's all about football and rehab, as you said. Yep. Studying opponents. I mean, how much should you benefit from, from having a full off season? Yeah, I think, you know, first and foremost, there's something to be said about, like, stepping away from the game. I got married, had a little honeymoon. Um, and that time, that time is key because it allows you to, like, you know, reset. And I think a guy like me is difficult to kind of, like, step away from the game because I love it so much for that long. But by the time I, like, get – um, immersed back into it, it's like I'm bursting at the seams to kind of just like go all the way, um, in every aspect of the game. Where did you get married? Where did you go on your honeymoon? And, and how's the wet, how's the married life going? <laughs> a month ago, I, we went to St. Lucia. Married life is it's the same as before. We'll see, you know. So. Did you get engaged during the season then, or? Um, no, before the season. Yeah, yeah. And she planned the whole thing. I showed up. At the, I didn't know what was happening at the wedding. <laughs> I showed up and everything was amazing. And you see so much more talent come into the AFC, yeah. like Russell Wilson, Devontae Adams, et cetera. What are your thoughts on how teams are starting to really stockpile their offense? Because you're going to have to be charged with stopping them. I mean, I think it's a good challenge. Um, I mean, the nature of the game is just like, at the end of the day, like we're competitors. You know, I don't, I don't think it matters too much like who's in front of us. Like, you got to go out there and compete. Um, you know, obviously, I think everyone everyone in this league is good. You know, some people are some people are great, some people are elite. But at the end of the day, it's it's me versus the guy in front of me. 
learn much from, from being any different than you were last year? I mean, did you learn something last year that says, I need to be this? Yeah, I feel like I kind of talked about um, being a sponge like my rookie year. Like, I set out to be a sponge and soak up everything because I kind of wanted to, like, you know, obviously I wanted to make the biggest impact I could, but I knew, like, okay, my career is going to be longer than a year. Like, I want to set the foundation for the rest of my career. Um, and I think part of, like, kind of taking everything in, it was, like, in a way I was a little pass I was passive because um, I was observing other people. I wasn't necessarily, like, going out there and, like, putting my stamp on the game. So this year now that I kind of, you know, know the environment, I'm, I'm used to the uh, – Used to the NFL, that's when I can go out there and do what I do. From Buster screen last year, and were you happy to see the Titans? Yeah, I think Buster. I mean, that dude helped me out a lot, and he he came in the Patriots week, just little stuff, how to watch film. Like he he um, you know as a getting a player's perspective and someone who's been playing the position for a long time. Like he get, he gave me little tidbits.